Lord, you're blocking the camera. Smoke weed every day. Okay, Lordy, move. <laughs> Hello, guys. This is the Irish for Fun America live radio show broadcast. Today's date. What is today's date? I think it's the night. I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, it's the 8th. It's the Immaculate Conception Day. Go to church. I gotta go to church, too. Okay, so we're back. We're back, people. That's right, I'm podcasting live from my house. Booyah! Um, a lot of things have been going on, you know? A lot of things have been going on. It's been really crazy. The first thing I'm going to have to play, I guess, is Obama's address to the nation over what happened. Um, there was a shooting. That's right, a shooting at... um. A disabled facilities place, and like 14 people got shot, and this was after the whole Paris incident. That was the worst Friday the 13th, by the way. Let me get up that photo. That one Friday the 13th, it was just horrible. Um, going to screen now. It was like, pray for Paris, and then there was this whole thing with Baruch, uh, Barrett. Japan had it holding with an earthquake. Oh, it was just horrific. Why isn't preview opening this, this stuff? Anyway, this is Obama's address to the nation. Americans. Americans. Tonight, I Tonight I want to speak, speak to you about, you about what, the what the United States, States, States will do with, with our friends, friends and, allies and allies to degrade, to degrade and, ultimately and ultimately destroy the terrorist, the terrorist group known as ISIS. As, ISIS. as commander, as commander in, chief, in chief, my highest, my highest priority, priority is the security, is the security of, the of the American people. people. Over the last, Over the last several, several years, we have consistently, consistently taken the fight, fight to terrorists, to terrorists to, threaten to threaten our country. We took out, we took out Osama, Osama bin Laden and, and much of Al-Qaeda's Al leadership, leadership in Afghanistan, Afghanistan and Pakistan. Pakistan. We've targeted, targeted Al-Qaeda's Al affiliate, affiliate in Yemen, in Yemen. And, recently and recently eliminated, eliminated the top, the top commander, commander of its affiliate, of its affiliate in, Somalia. in Somalia. We've done We've so done while bringing more than, more than 140,000 American, American troops from Iraq and drawing down our forces in Afghanistan, where our combat mission will end later this year. Thanks to, Thanks our, to military our military and counterterrorism counter professionals, professionals, America, America is, safer. is safer. Still, Still we, continue we continue to face, to face a, terrorist a terrorist threat. threat. We, can't we can't erase every trace of evil from the world, from the world. And, small and small groups of killers, of killers have, have the capacity, capacity to do great, do great harm. harm. That was the case that was before 9-11, and, and, and that remains true, true today. today. And that's why, and that's we, why must we must remain vigilant as threats emerge. At this, At this moment, the greatest, the greatest threats, threats come from the Middle East and North, East North Africa, Africa, where radical, where radical groups, groups exploit grievances, grievances for their own gain. gain. And one of, those, one of those groups is ISIL, is ISIL which, calls which calls itself the Islamic, the Islamic State. State. There we go, people. That was Obama's address to name, or at least the highlights of it, from CNN. Um... As he was saying before, he was talking about ISIS being the main threat, but he said that there has always been lone wolves. There have always been crazy people attacking, even before 9-11. So, it's not something new. Uh, and I'm glad that the president did address that. There's always going to be problems in the world. It just seems that nowadays, when it happens, the media reports it a lot more, and things are more damaging. It's more. It just hits more to home. Everybody was set for a pray for Paris, but when it happened here, nobody, uh, you know. Hold on a second, I can't get Safari. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Why did I drag it down? Okay, okay, so... The next issue at hand, I want to talk about Romney. That's right, you know, Romney. Um, I've always had, like, this whole thing with crazy people I like to talk about, but Romney is very special. Where, very where special. Where they come from, from and why, and why we'll, we'll have, have to determine, we're going to have to figure it out. We have to figure it out. We, we, figure figure it out. we, we can't, can't live like this. this. It's going to get worse and worse. worse. You're going to have to make more world changes. Things are going to get worse and worse. We could be politically correct. We could be politically correct. We could be stupid. But it's going to get worse and worse. Until, Until we are able to determine and understand this problem, 
and the and dangerous, dangerous spread of our, our country, country cannot, cannot be, be the victims of horrendous attacks by people that believe, believe only, only in Jihad. Who's a piece of only in Jihad? They don't want us. They don't want us. And I have and no, no sense of reason or respect for human life. life. They have no respect for human life. That's all right. He sounds like he's very exhausted. It's all right. He's tired. So, they have no respect for human life. So, we have to do something now. That's that's Donald Trump for you. Did I call him Romney? Sorry. I kind of only see things as black and white. If you're a white guy, you kind of look the same. Did I say that? Okay, so what's the issue here? Um, I read somewhere that Donald Trump was supposed... Like, his policies are... You gotta... He's just... He's just insane like he speaks it as it is and that's refreshing people like to talk about him that's what i like about presidents i like to talk about this stuff on my radio show but he doesn't want to bring in the refugees from syria or the other one or the other countries that are facing these terrorist threats and that's understandable that's why the terrorists are going to come in from from the refugees because they're just going to sneak in with all the effort refugees trying to escape all this mass chaos and genocide um but I also read somewhere else that he was proposing this whole thing. I don't, I don't have any proof of this. I don't have any validation of this. But he wanted some, he wanted Muslim people to start wearing, you know, the bands. You know, just like, uh, just so we could identify them. Just so we know that it's pretty who, who's Hindu and who's Muslim. Um, personally, I think that this kind of idea, this not knowing another individual, this whole labeling somebody as a terror threat, putting somebody in the group, um, I just see somebody who does that is working as, he's very ignorant, doesn't understand the world, and this kind of ide ideology or thinking could lead to the next world war. I think that this ideology is just like that of the Antichrist. That's right, the Antichrist. I'm referring to Hitler here, but the photos won't load. Uh, that's probably for the best. Probably for the best. But yeah. But, I mean, if you want to think about it, all of the presidents beforehand, every president of the United States has been considered the Antichrist, even Obama himself. So, what am I saying here? Am I saying that that means Romney's going to be president? He's going to buy the election? Dun, dun, dun! Yeah. But yeah. That's my views of Donald Trump. Did I say Romney again? My bad. <laughs> Speaking back in the old days of the radio show. I gotta find out what's wrong with these photos. They're not popping up at all. Oh well. But one thing Donald Trump did bring up was being PC. And we've all been there. We've all, um, you know, maybe said a joke or something that was offensive to somebody. And people are like, you can't say that. You are very discriminative. You are ignorant. They just judge you without knowing you. Um, here's what I found. At Wesley Apex, Naruto has Asperger. That's why he's dumb is in the head to Sasuke and doesn't get it to Putin. So this is PC principle. I don't get it. What's Asperger's? Is it something to be PC about? So we've all been there, we all be, we've all said things that some people might find funny, and some people are like, this is offensive to Asperger's, how could you say that? You should be ashamed of yourselves. Um, just to be fair, let's look up what Asperger's is, for the PC people. Asperger's syndrome, also called as Asperger's disorder, is a type of refrasive development disorder. Although Asperger's syndrome... Hold on. Although Asperger's syndrome... Why isn't this going down? Involves the development of the development of many basic skills. 
delays in the development of many basic skills, most notably the ability to socialize with others, to communicate, and to use imagination. This is a spectrum where PDD disorders. So people have trouble communicating. Although Asperger's syndrome is similar in some ways to autism, and other more severe type of PDD, there are some important differences. Children with Asperger's syndrome typically function better than do those with autism. In addition, children with Asperger's syndrome generally have normal intelligence and near normal language development, although they may develop problems communicating as they get older. So yeah, that's Asperger's syndrome. But as I've been getting older, I, I've been noticing this pattern that uh, the older I get, the more I start to appreciate Friends. You know Friends, the TV show? I didn't really like the show and catch on to the series, you know, I, I never really watched it. I've probably only seen like 10 episodes, I think. I remember the episode of Rosh Marries Rachel in Vegas. Um, I can appreciate the 10 episodes I've seen now, even if I think it, the show was very boring. Like when I was a kid, this show was the most boring thing. I didn't watch it. All my cousins loved it. In Ireland, they love Friends, and they couldn't understand why I didn't like it. All the girls liked Friends, so then I couldn't like... I was outcast for not liking Friends, so, but I appreciate some of the stuff they've been talking about now. So no one told you life was going to be this way, your job's a joke, your love life's DOA, you're always stuck in secondary, this is very much what life has been like, um, as you get older. Um, my friend Nikki, Nicholas DeCarl, also known as Brovian93 on Twitter, sent me this video of the Animaniacs. Why isn't it? YouTube. Thank you for that cheer, Nikki. I'd like to also give a shout out to Nikki's old previous radio show, Wednesdays with Nikki. Hopefully, you will see that soon. And speaking of shout outs and Wednesdays, I'd like to give a shout out to the Underground Section Radio. It is back this Wednesday night, 7 p.m. to 8 30, live on itcherradio.com. They will be playing exclusive music by some dope artists like Fisher, Johnny Floss, Chris Rivers, Emilio Rojas. Myself, Feet, UP, plus more. So shout out to the Underground Section Radio. Um, is that all we got? Yeah, that's all we got, people. Thank you for tuning in. It's been 13 minutes of the Irish Wolfhound of America. We are back. Thanks for watching.